Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the mean value theorem for integrals. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, f of x equals a negative x to the second power minus 8x minus 17 on our interval from negative 6 to negative 3. And we want to find the average value of the function over this interval and find the values of c that satisfy the mean value theorem. Well, first I want to find f of c, the average value. So f of c, using my formula, is 1 over b minus a, negative 3 minus a value, negative 6, times the integral from negative 6 to negative 3 of our function, negative x squared minus 8x minus 17 dx. Well, this is actually pretty simple once we have it set up. 1 over negative 3 minus a negative 6 is a plus a positive 6, we have 1 third here. Multiply that, what's the integral of our function? Well, negative x squared is a negative x to the third over 3 minus 8x integrates to be a 4x squared, and a 17 is just a 17x. And we're integrating this from negative 6 to a negative 3. Well, rules tell us, we keep the 1 third down here, we plug negative 3 first in for x. When I plugged a negative 3 in for x of our function and simplified, I got a 24. When I uh, now subtract, we plug a negative 6 in. When I plug a negative 6 in for x, I got a positive 30. Well, 1 third stays out front. Multiply that by 24 minus 30 is a negative 6. And 1 third times a negative 6 is a negative 2. And so negative 2 is our average value. So this here... So average value of function. That's a negative 2. So we found the first part. Now we want to find the values of c that satisfy the mean value theorem. So what I do is I find what is f of c. Well, our function f of x is right here. So I plug c in for x. Negative c squared minus 8x minus 17. And that's going to be equal to our average value. Right? Remember, this whole thing is equal to f of c, so negative 2. Now we're solving. We have a negative uh, c squared minus 8x. We add a 2 to both sides, and we have a negative 15 equals 0. Now, I like to deal with everything, a positive c value up front, so multiply everything by a negative 1. c squared plus 8x plus 15 equals 0. This factors, can't forget factoring in calculus, c plus 5 to be a c and a c plus 3 equals 0. So that gives us two c values of a negative 5 and a negative 3. Both are within our interval here, okay? So, since negative 5 and negative 3 are values that satisfy the MVT mean value theorem. And there we have it. So my final answer here, the average value of the function on our interval was negative 2, and uh, values of c really that satisfy the mean value theorem is a negative 5 and a negative 3. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.